Hello everyone, hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. So we're back in this fast tutorial that we will talk about how we will convert the lights in our scene to create a night scene instead of a daylight render. So last week we made a daylight scene as you can see in front of you and now we will convert our project into a night scene. So let's start. Okay, to be honest, I've already recorded the tutorial working with the lights and changing them step by step, but unfortunately the video has been deleted by mistake. So I'm repeating it right now, but I will go through the steps very fast and I'll and I'll just highlight what I've changed to see what I've did and we will see the results together so first of all I will turn all the lights off this also and from here I will select lights okay this one also okay we still have the environment so from here I'll make it zero by zero and I'll start the interactive we can notice that our scene is now is without lights only this table table light we can turn it off from here because it's a material light okay so I will start step by step with every light we have so first thing first we will start with the environment or the corona sky so I'll reput this value to 1.5 and you can notice that I gave the sky a bluish color or a dark blue color to have the night effect from where I change it from here let's remember together what I did to the corona sky okay from settings we go to scene and choose single map and from here we assign a corona color correct then we drag it to the materials just like this in the input in the input we assign a corona sky we can set the value from here we can increase it or decrease it and what we did last time that we made the saturation to minus one and from here from tint we can change the color of the sky so let's make it red for <laughs> or pink you can change it to any color you want just like this so I'll keep it to blue you can see the values of the color you can copy it Actually, I'm giving you the file. You can find it in the description. Okay. After that, I think I copied the same color from here. I make a copy and then I went to the Corona Sun. And from here, direct input, I pasted the same color as the environment and i'll enable it now so you can see the rays of the sun entering the room as a moonlight not a sun so just by these steps we have this image okay now we just need to add the interior lights and for that 
as we learned previously we should make a contrast between the cold color and the warm color so now we have the cold color the blue color and we want to add the warm color so from here we are gonna enable the indirect as a 3500 Kelvin temperature so I will turn it on now you can see the contrast between this and this sure you can test the perfect intensity for your scene and I'll enable this also so we can see the light from here and we have finished 90% of the lights we still have one light which is which is the table light so I'll enable it and I gave it the same temperature of the warm color of the indirect and we can see from here the effect of the table lamp And just by this few steps, we converted our daylight image or render into a night scene. So we can see the final result from here. I'm very satisfied with it. Okay, I think we forgot to enable the light we set before to the bed. So let's go again and enable it yeah it's turned off and i will make it on again you can see that i made the temperature to 4500 and from here i selected a 17 object just to include them into this light i don't want this light to light all my room just only this item this items which is the bed, the pillows, the carpet, and the floor. And just by that, we created this fine image with this result. Voila. As simple as that. Okay, what I made next is that I made a DOF image. And focus image with a corona camera so this is the camera that I added we can go from here to camera 2 okay and I'll change the aspect ratio of the render I think I put it to 0 0.8 yeah to 0 0.8 and from the corona camera setting i enabled the depth of field the shortcut of doF i enable it and made an override focus and set the value of you if you can see the value from here we can change it so i set the value to make the focus on the table lamp and because of the let's make an interactive you can see it now and the results from here okay but the glare here is missing so we'll go to the material here and we'll increase the intensity of the light to have the glare we have here so I will go to 200 I think it was 3000 I'll change the setting of the glare oh ok now we have the same result of the final render so by these few steps you can see that the, the mattress is out of focus and the focus is on 
the table and the and on the table light with just few steps you don't need to make it hard on yourself just think wisely and you'll have the best result you can do this so that's all we made the render of this camera and this camera and we changed from here the tint of the corona sky color into a cold color and we gave the same color into the sun to have this effect here and we make and we made a contrast with the indirect into a warm temperature so that's all i hope you enjoyed the lesson for today and as always i want to thank you so much for your support for your interaction with the channel please put like and comment on this video and see you next week hopefully Hehehe <laughs>